Three, two, one, rolling. Hey guys, it's Prisla and these are my friends and teammates. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, I think we're a little bit nervous. Today we are here to present something we made. But let me talk a bit more about myself. So I'm Prisla, 17 years old from Kumasi, Ghana. I love my city, but it's hectic too. Some kids even had accidents on their way to school. My friends and I knew we definitely had to do something about it. My friends and I made a device which helps kids to cross the road safely. We have already placed two devices outside our school, making kids feel safer. We were able to make this because our school participated in GenStep, a program where we learned science, technology, engineering, and maths. Learning in our school was quite abstract. Ever since we started learning STEM skills, we have been able to bring real-world problems into classrooms to see how we can solve these with practical skills. These skills have allowed us to turn our ideas into reality. Our teacher, Richard, has been of great support along our journey. You are all welcome to the STEM laboratory. But you can see we have some wonderful visitors. Today they are here to take us through what came into their minds, how they formed the group, so we can also create and invent other stuff. It has a solar panel when you want to cross the road. In the evening, you just turn on the lights to make it visible to the driver. So after you're done, you can go, then you cross the road, place it back. STEM offers pupils the opportunity to bring their creative ideas to bear in solving global challenges. We have over 300 pupils who are willing to get into STEM education and coming out with creative ideas, some in the medical area, in the field of climate-related issues, and the community also has embraced it with lots of enthusiasm. Usually, it's mostly boys who focus on science and technology, but we prove that girls can also do it. We participated in the competition and won the 2022 Ultimate Prize. It was so amazing. Because we won, our school even received a lab with projectors, computers, test tubes and other apparatus. This has made learning much more practical. We even had the honor of presenting our invention to the President of Ghana. And I'm just up soon, it's me a device here, one cram or mucha cream. Now, no, so soon, when you say Abebua STEM education. Ah, Abebua, I'm a more friend in now. Nancy, I make us a more friend in now. Moma to me, I away, and I will be at me, I away, a bema of a friend or more macanos, dear, what I call a dear moon. Sab of friend, a bear now, who was on the bed, no, it's me, I yen ya, and what's our yet. Mistress education, no, so I'm a boy, I'm a friend in now, not the award of Fred Beamon, where she happy. My ultimate dream is to train other people in STEM education so they can be self employed, independent, and solve problems in their community. As young people, we do not have to sit back and wait for others to do something about a problem. We can also do something, we are limitless, smart, brave, and intelligent. 